Here's how you can make a YouTube channel banner on either your desktop browser or your smartphone for free. A YouTube channel banner is an important part of your branding on YouTube. However, making a banner can be difficult, especially if you don't know where to start. That's why in this video, sponsored by Adobe Express, I'll show you how to make a YouTube channel banner from start to finish. In full disclosure, I am an Adobe Express ambassador. And if you'd like to try Adobe Express, an affiliate link will be in the description down below. With that in mind, I'll also show you how to make your YouTube channel banner dynamic, meaning it updates things like your YouTube subscriber count in real time and keeps up with your subscriber goals like mine. Keep watching this video until the end to learn how to do just that. With all that said, I'm Andrew Kant. And if I can create a YouTube channel banner with Adobe Express, then you can too. Once you click on this affiliate link in the description or scan this QR code to get this app on your phone, you can sign up for free and make your way to Adobe Express. Now, whether you're on the desktop or mobile app, click on this plus icon. On the browser, click on custom size graphic, social profile, and then select channel art here. The size for a YouTube channel banner is 2560 by 1440. We'll come back to this later. On mobile, click on this plus button and then click on solid color. I'll choose black and then scroll to social profile and select channel art with this YouTube icon. Another thing is since Adobe Express uses the Creative Cloud, if you start a YouTube channel banner on your computer, you can continue designing it on your phone and vice versa. Anyway, from this point on, the design process will be the same between the browser and the mobile app. But for the sake of this recording, I'll be using the browser version. Continuing on, we'll be using this graphic, which shows what's called the safe zone. YouTube channel art is displayed on different devices, so it's important that the information in the safe zone is clearly there. I'll link an article in the description down below to get this graphic for you to use too. To bring this file in, click on photos, upload photos, find the file and click open. Once this image is in Adobe Express, click on it and select add to background. This will scale this image and let you know where you can design your banner in. The reason the size is 2560 by 1440 is because it will show your YouTube banner on multiple devices, and this is the largest size for TVs. The desktop max is what's shown when people view your channel on a computer, and this area will show on a smartphone. If you want more information like how at the time of this video, a YouTube channel's banner's max size is 6 megabytes, I'll have a link to my source in the description down below. Although, we will be focusing primarily on the desktop version and the safe areas, but you can design to your heart's content on the other options. However, since 3 out of 4 adults are watching YouTube on their phone, it's important to optimize for mobile devices. When it comes to YouTube channel banners, I recommend your banner covers the following. In fact, let's use my old banner as an example. Your YouTube channel banner is for someone who is brand new and has never seen your channel before. Think of it like a billboard when you're driving. It should capture your attention, be clear on what it's about, and deliver value to the person quickly driving by. Who is the main person in the videos, if not yourself, maybe an image of your persona or branding? what you are trying to do and how does this help slash entertain the audience when you create the content for the audience. Now, this doesn't need to be too specific. I mean, for myself, I say weekly. However, if you create every other Monday and Friday at 3 p.m., put that here, where the content will be, so videos, streams, shorts, etc. Finally, why they should want to become a part of your audience. Let's talk about how to design your own YouTube channel banner for free. I'll be using my new banner as the example here. To start, I'll go to shapes and I'll have a square as my simple background. This will be so I can lower the opacity on my layers here. So as I use the template below all my work, I can adjust it later to make sure what I'm designing looks good. Starting with the who, I will upload a photo of myself with no background. If you'd like to see how to remove a person from the background, check out that card on screen. I like this photo because it shows my curiosity. I also will have my name in a font I like. I already have a font I try to use for all my videos, so I'll use it here too. Next are my brand colors, which are this red and blue, and I enjoy them quite a lot. With that said, I now have myself and my name, so let's move on to the what. You can utilize Adobe Express stock photos here, or you can upload your own. I always say to have something that you cover on your channel. For my banner, it was very easy to just incorporate cameras since it's what I talk about here and how I film. However, if you're a gamer, it could be images of the games you play. Chef, maybe it's food you've made before. 
No matter your niche, this helps answer the what from before. I wanted to add some text too, so for me, I focus on content creation, so I just said content creation made easy. Now I could explain the what even more in depth under this space, but I feel this does a good job of doing just that, and we'll keep this area in mind later on in this video. After that is the when. Remember, this is important for your audience. Your YouTube channel is like your storefront, and they need to know when they should come back and check what you're up to. For me, I save videos and streams weekly. However, if you do shorts or have other content, it's very important to mention when they can expect that too. You can add personal touches for other size banners. Again, we've been using the guide this whole time, so maybe on desktop we have a subscribe call out on the side, or down here I put my community logo. Now you can continue designing, but I'm going to export mine. This process is the same on both desktop and mobile devices. In the top right hand corner, click on this button here. On desktop, it looks like this, and on mobile, it looks like this. Click on this button here. Then, on mobile, just choose Images. Adobe Express will download to your computer or your mobile device where you want to save the image to. If you want, you can upload your image now. It's pretty simple and all you need to do is just head over to your YouTube channel. Select Customize Channel here or, if you're on a mobile device, select this pencil icon here. Once the page loads on desktop, select Change Branding or Upload Your Banner. On mobile, just select the image of the camera here and upload your banner. It's now time to make our YouTube channel banner dynamic. We're going to be using a free service from Stream Elements that's called Mercury, which you can access via the link in the description. Mercury is free to sign up. You'll just need to link your YouTube channel so it can track the progress of your stats. From here, if you uploaded your banner earlier, you can edit it, or if you haven't yet, you'll see your old banner, or if you don't have one, no banner. If you use chapters to skip to this part in the video, select the edit pencil icon here to add your own banner to the background. You can see that dynamic banners show the safe zone we mentioned earlier, but you can toggle this on and off if you'd like. To add to your banner, click on the add layer button to be presented with some options. At the time of this video, it's text, milestone, and linear progress. I'm going to be using a combination of both milestones and text. These will be dynamic based on what I choose. Let's get started with milestones. Here you can see it has some options pre-selected. I can edit it by clicking on the pencil here. I can change the goal in the first section. For me, I'll have about four steps and keep the goals on subscribers, but you can track things like Discord signups, or as you can see, they previously had amounts for Mr. Beast's Team Trees and Team Seeds. My current goal for the channel is 25,000 subscribers, so I will select that. I'm going to choose 10,000 as my first step and 25,000 as my last step. I then can resize it to fit my banner better. Next, you can edit the colors to fit your brand, which I'll do now. Under that, you can choose the steps text, font, and color. I'm going to leave this as the default for now because I think it fits my banner quite nicely. Now if you want to add more, Click on the back arrow here. I'll add text with dynamic numbers, so as I gain subscribers, it will change like the milestones above. If you want to help it change, subscribe for more helpful filmmaking and YouTube content just like this. Speaking of helpful, I'll say the amount by clicking on this dynamic variation of channel subscribers, then I'll say creators helped right after, so it'll look something like this. To make sure this looks good, I'll preview it here, and I think this looks good to me, but let me know what you think in the comments down below. To continue, I'll close and hit save. My new banner will load here, and then I will see it here, and on my YouTube channel. With Adobe Express and Mercury, I can have a dynamic banner that will help people know what I create and become part of my community. Speaking of community, if you want help with your YouTube channel banner, consider joining our Discord server where we can provide feedback on banners, thumbnails, etc. Again, your YouTube channel banner is important, and it helps new people to your channel understand all what you're about. Speaking of what I'm about, remember, I'm Andrew Can, and if I can create a YouTube channel banner for free, then you can too.